So listen, we're gonna be creating a Google Doc and then we're gonna be selecting that doc and updating it. So selecting it by its ID and making some updates to the content of the doc. That's all coming up in this lesson. Go ahead and open up your app script editor and we're gonna create my doc. So give it a function. So it's just a custom function that we're gonna be using in order to create a document and using Google Apps Script to create a document. So create a variable, call it doc, and then select the doc app service. And then within the doc app service, use create. And this is just expecting a string value. So I'm just gonna give it a string value there. You can use any string value. And this is gonna be the document name that we're gonna see within the drive. And then in order to select the body of the document, now that we've got the document object in DOC, we can then get the body of the document. And then within the body, we can insert number of different elements. So typically a paragraph is something that we want to insert. So we set the starting position of the paragraph, so the child index of the paragraph, and then the contents of the paragraph. So what this code is going to do, these three lines of code, it's going to create a Google Doc, brand new Google Doc on the root of my Google Drive, give it a name of Lawrence Svekis, select the body, and then update the body inserting a paragraph at the first index value. So let's uh, run that. And we need to review permissions. So every time you run a script that requires new permissions that haven't been accepted, then you need to go through the accept permissions screen. And once you've done that and the execution is complete, it's going to create a brand new doc. So there's the doc that we've created, and then there's the contents of the doc. So if, uh, for instance, we already had a bunch of content in here and we go back to the script and we want to select and update the document. So we want to add additional value into there. So we just call it update my doc and we're going to need the doc ID value. So that's going to be the value here within the web URL. So you can go ahead and select that and that can serve as the ID. So this is going to be expecting a string value. And then we use the document app and we can then open by ID. And this is where we indicate the ID of the document file. And then just as we did before, we can select the body and then we can select where we want to add in this new line. So I can make it different than the previous line. And then let's run the update doc. And this is going to update that content into the document. So if you update this value, so let's do it to 10. And now it's inserting it at index value number 10. So it's starting at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's why it's inserted there. So you can specify where within the document you want to insert your paragraph and the next string value.